Hi, I wanted to take a moment to just explain what happens with the conversion of old data when it comes into 2009 where we've unified uh, colors and textures with appearances. So taking a look at 2007 here, um, I'm just, I just got a simple part here, a cylinder with a red face, and this face was colored using the, uh, the color functionality that we used to have. Um, there was obvious, there was also similar functionality as you may know for, for textures. And then the other thing I did is I've got PhotoWorks on, and uh, I put blue anodized aluminum on this face by dragging and dropping blue anodized aluminum onto that reference. So what I see is this part with the red face when I'm viewing it in standard SolidWorks, and then when I render it, uh, it will just render with the blue anodized aluminum on the on that face. So. The first thing I'll notice when I open this part in 2009, I happen to have real view on. So I'm actually already looking at the model with that old PhotoWorks material, which is now called an appearance, applied to the face. Uh, if I render it, um, I will get also uh, the same thing in terms of blue anodized aluminum uh, on that face in my rendering. So the thing is, is we didn't want to ignore the fact that you had a red color on this face, but again, this is part of a shared database now in terms of all the entities that you use to color the model are all coming from the same place. So basically, real view on is essentially the same as having the old PhotoWorks option, display PhotoWorks appearances in SolidWorks OpenGL on. You'll see actually with real view on, this is disabled. If I turn real view off, I go back to my old color. And this was just the way to ensure that old data that you brought forward, we wouldn't lose information. But because everything is an appearance, and uh, appearances are the global way you change what it looks like, if I render it now, I will actually see um, the red face instead of the blue anodized aluminum. And that is essentially how we're hanging on to any old colors and textures that also had PhotoWorks materials applied to the same references. One <clears throat> last point to make here is that let's say that you feel like you don't need to use want to use RealView. Um, you don't need to have RealView on in order to um, <clears throat> get the uh, blue anodized aluminum to be what you render. Uh, you can still use the old option of uh, display PhotoWorks materials or appearances in SolidWorks OpenGL, which is now enabled and you can choose to turn it on since RealView is off. So with RealView off, you can turn that back on and it's just like the old way of working with that option on.